Singer-songwriter Alexander Wildwood is from the Mount and he's going to be supporting Boy and Bear this week when they play their two shows in Auckland and Wellington. How are you feeling that the uh, shows have sold out? Um, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, can't really ask for a better response than that. I know, it's yeah. amazing. Are you a little daunted by a sold out power station or are you like, nah, going to own this? Uh, it is a bit scary, but I mean, I'm pretty excited to get in front of that many people and um, mm -hmm. just have a really good time. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and have you ever played Wellington Bodega before? No, this is the first time in Bodega, so okay. really excited to get down there, down to the capital. Yeah. And um, yeah, sort of hoping there's some magic going on with the elections coming up as well. Oh yeah, true. Is that when it's is it hitting? Is it election day in Wellington? On the twentieth, yeah. Uh -huh. So the day after. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you, you're right. Totally. Okay, so it's yeah. going to be oh very interesting indeed. Uh, let's kind of take it back then and and talk about how you grew up and started writing music because you kind of do pretty much everything yourself, really. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So multi instrumental. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I guess I've been around music long enough to sort of um, be alright at a few different instruments now mm -hmm. um, and in the studio um, it's just sort of makes it easier just relying on myself rather than trying to get other people in as well. Completely, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean it's it's great, it's a great way to experiment and try things with different instruments and see how they sound. And What would and, be your um, forte, like? Uh, the best ones. The best one. <laughs> yeah. um, probably guitar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Guitar is probably the main instrument. Um, and it's just, it's definitely the one I fell in love with first. Right. Um, I started playing piano first mm -hmm. and um, yeah, hit high school. And there's just nothing cool when you're third form and playing piano. I know. Um, <laughs> it happens to me as well. It just sort of went by the wayside. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, all your friends start playing sport and you're just sitting at home doing that. <laughs> yeah. And, um, Finger exercises. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's nothing really too um, too rock and roll about that but guitar I mean you can um, start to bust out a few songs and you can take it things. to parties as well like throw it on yeah, your shoulder and yeah. rock it off to yeah. the beach or whatever you always be that guy that just has the guitar at the party and play yeah. the songs yeah um, so you grew up so you've always been living in the mount um, not always I grew up sort of I grew up sailing around okay. the world before um, yeah before moving to the mount Far out, yeah. what a lifestyle yeah so is that how you discovered music because you're on the you needed some entertainment or what was yeah. the story? Um, sort of, yeah. My, my parents are big fans of music and um, yeah, growing up sailing there's always music playing or I had a I had like a, a Walkman that my mum gave me yeah. with a tape. Um, if if oh, people still know what that is. Yeah, well, I had three actually. I had, a, had like a Beach Boys Greatest Hits, um, Phil Collins, yes. and um, I think REM was okay, the other cool. one. Yeah, so I was pretty lucky that these sort of three landed there and I just used to listen to them on repeat. It's it amazing much. that you kind of. I mean, you can change it around with tapes, but you sort of have to listen to the album, you know, yeah, all, yeah. all the songs in a row, like just as they were made to be listened yeah, to. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Mm. And my dad, was a, he's a big Neil Young fan, so cool. that was always just this there in the background. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally. And so from there, when did you, how did you start, what did you first pick up? Uh, what um, or how did that all begin? Yeah, well, on the, when we were sailing, my mum was always playing guitar mm -hmm. with us. And um, yeah, I used to, I had like a little ukulele and I used to play along, we'll try and play along. I was probably just, pretty sure I was probably just really annoying, but um, <laughs> <laughs> she... Obviously you're encouraged though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely, definitely. Um, and then, yeah, and then when we sort of um, moved to the mount, yeah, started with the piano and then, uh, and the whole time like my mum would play guitar while we play piano and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, and then when I found guitar, that was just, yeah, I was just pretty sold on it. I just loved it. Cool. Yeah. So, how do you then forge an identity as a musician, as Alexander Wildwood? Like, you know, was it a process of just learning your craft and then going out and, and showing mm. demos to people, or how did that work? Um, it's a pretty long process. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, I've been writing music for quite a while now. Um, obviously, started in high school, mm -hmm. as sort of everyone does, I guess, and probably wrote terrible, terrible songs. So I <laughs> didn't probably, they were terrible. Um, but um, yeah, eventually you start to get good. and. I, I just spent the last sort of two and a half years just sort of focusing on this project and what I wanted it to be and mm -hmm. like I said like experimenting with different things and stuff yeah. um, and then once I thought like I'd finally found like a sound that I really loved and it was like a good representation of who I was yeah. um, that was sort of the point where I was like oh, I actually want to show this to people. Okay cool. Before that was more 
like I'll just keep this on my hard drive and yeah. not show anyone. <laughs> yeah. See where this goes. Yeah. So were you banging on a lot of doors to to get to this boy and bear, you know, to get the support for that? Because it's a pretty big thing, international yeah. and the like. Yeah, definitely. Well, I um, I actually got my masters back for uh, the first three songs from the EP. Mm -hmm. um, the day that Boy and Bear was announced. Right. And um, so I literally just got the masters back from New York. I'm assuming from, you're a um, fan of Boy and Bear as well. Yeah, definitely, okay. definitely. Yeah. And I found out they were coming and I was just like, I've got to play the show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I pretty much just went through Google and tried to search anyone who had any connection to yeah. the shows and sent out heaps of emails and, um, and everyone was really good. Like everyone emailed me back being like, these songs are great. I don't actually have anything to do with the show. <laughs> but oh, that's amazing. Get in touch with this person or whatever. <laughs> yeah. um, and eventually I found um, uh, Stefan in Australia. He put me in touch with the people in New Zealand, mm -hmm. um, which is a awesome uh, lady called Katie who's putting on the show. And, Choice. Yeah. So you've so. essentially yourself just made all your dreams come true. <laughs> yeah. Well, wicked. the start of them anyway. So yeah. you've got an EP out. Uh, what about an album? Is it? Um, EP is not out yet. Okay, right. So it's yeah. nearly out. Yeah, nearly okay, out. Right. Okay, yeah. Uh, the singles just come out, and um, the video, obviously, and we're just finishing off the last few tracks for the EP. Uh huh. Okay. So, um, so yeah, it's many... going to be a five-track EP. Okay. <laughs> that was yeah. the next question. Yeah, yeah. And um, should be out later this year, hopefully. Okay, yeah. so we'll just look out for your name. Like, have, you, have you got a title for it yet? Um, South of No North. That's what it's called. Shall I ask what that's about? <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a book of short stories by Charles Bukowski. Right, that's awesome. Mm. Okay, I was yeah. thinking it sounds like a little Game of Thrones-ish of the, yeah. uh, the North and Winter is Coming and everything like that. Yeah. Um, so your, your latest single uh, is Bad Blood. That's the one. So uh, we've been talking actually off air about this before, but it's kind of it's about you at a party and, and not yeah. fancying it too much. Or <laughs> yeah, well, give us the background. Yeah, basically, I, I went to a party. There was a whole bunch of people I hadn't seen in a very long time, mm -hmm. and um, just everyone sort of you're just doing life in such different ways, and um, you're on very different wavelengths and stuff. And I just came away with like a really negative sort of feeling from the whole thing. Right. And yeah, um, yeah so I just went home and and. Instead of going to sleep, I sat down at the piano and banged out the song. And that right. was it, just recorded into my iPhone and then I listened to it the next day and I was like, man, this is this is really good. Choice. It's exciting, yeah. So you've turned a negative experience into something positive. Yeah, totally. There's always a silver lining. Yeah. Um, and tell me about the video. Was this your first music video? Uh, for this project, yes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. have you been in previous acts before this? Yeah, I've been in a few uh, little bands and stuff. That oh. Make music videos and stuff, Choice. but this is definitely the best one so far, and the one I was most excited about. It was, um, yeah, it wasn't really like a story. There's no real narrative, but it's more like an aesthetic to match the feeling of the song. Wow! Yeah. And who have you got to, to direct it? Uh, a friend of mine who lives in New York called mm -hmm. Olive Trimble. Cool. Um, she, yeah, she's super talented, and my wife actually did the edit and the color grade, which is uh, which oh, is great. That's so exciting. So they're like, a bit oh, of a dream okay. team. So in the meantime, look out for the EP. It should be out later on this year. If you're going to Boy and Bear, well, tickets are sold out. But congratulations! Uh, and if we want to check out dates of potential future shows, have you got a Facebook page? Yeah, just hit up Facebook slash Alexander Wildwood. Easy, Wildwood, just as it sounds, right? Just as it sounds. Cool. Yeah. All right, we're going to go check out the brand new video clip for Bad Blood on Endzone.